So, you want to make a futuristic, minimalistic logo animation in Blender. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you. No, I'm joking. Hey guys, welcome back to Tits by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at this minimalistic circle kind of thing, which looks really cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over top of everything in the scene. Hit delete to get rid of it all. Hit 1 to go into the front facing view and hit shift A. And we're going to search for a uh, camera. And then hit uh, G, Y to move this back behind the uh, red line there. Hit 0 to go into the uh, camera's view. Hit uh, shift A and we're going to search for a circle. And before we do anything, because we cannot move this or do anything, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and uh, hit this little add circle button here and then change the amount of vertices from 32 to 64 and we're also going to change the fill type from uh, nothing to in gone now with that done i'm gonna hit rx on my num on my uh, keyboard and then nine zero on my numpad to rotate 90 degrees on the x axis and hit enter to confirm that now if that 90 doesn't 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 work make sure num lock is checked on uh, on your keyboard or else it will not uh, let you rotate that 90 degrees so we'll go ahead and hit zero to go into the camera's view and hit s to scale this bad boy down a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing but this time with shift a search for a uh, circle and this time instead of having it on in gun we're going to change it back to nothing so now we have this little ring uh, i'm gonna hit rx and then once again 90 and right and then uh enter to make sure that is confirmed hit zero to go back into the camera's view now I'm going to go ahead and hit S to scale this a little bit closer to the edge of the other circle we have here. And now I'm going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. We're going to hit uh, S to scale this up. Sorry, I hit E, sorry, to scale this up. And then hit E and then hit S to scale the extrusion up. Um, so E to extrude and then hit S after that to scale the extrusion. Um, and then we're going to just make it like about that thick, I suppose. I don't want it to be too thick, nothing too crazy about that thick. About the thickness of the gap in between. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode. You can see we have this nice little double ring thing. But I don't want this to be all the way around because I want to be able to rotate this. So I'm going to hit tab once again. Go back into edit mode. Um, hit A to deselect everything. until everything's, Tap A until everything's not selected anymore. Now with the vertice uh, select. Uh, oh, we can do we can do face select. With face select mode on. So up the top left. Uh, hit uh, this little face select button right there. I'm going to hit C to go ahead and brush in all the pieces I want to delete. So I'm going to delete all of these pieces here um, and we're going to hit uh, right click to uh, get rid of a brush and then hit delete faces. Now you can see all the faces, everything other than this piece is now gone. So now if I hit tab to go out of edit mode, uh, I can open up the timeline here and go to the zero frame, I change our start frame to zero and then go to zero. Um, I can hit I, rotation, and then on frame about 100, I can go ahead and hit R, and then X, uh, sorry, R and Y, and then rotate this like this. So you can see it rotates around, which looks really, really cool, right? So I'm going to hit uh, R, Y, 180, and then hit I, rotation. Now on frame 200, I'm going to hit R, Y, 180, and then left click, I, rotation. Now you can see that when we play this, it will rotate all the way around. We have to change the frame rate, of course. But for now, you can see it rotates all the way around and then ends right back on up where we started at 200. So I'm going to change our end frame to 200. Now, we're going to go to the second frame here and change the frame rate to 60. Now you can see when we play this, it goes all the way around and then comes back where it started. And it does that over and over and over again as like a nice little uh, loading animation logo kind of thing. Which I thought looks really, really cool. Now, to add, uh, I want to add a couple more circles because I thought it was kind of playing without it. So I'm going to uh, hit Shift D to duplicate that big circle. And then just move it like down here. Hit Shift D again. Hit S to scale these. Move these nice little circles down here. Make it look nice and futuristic like some kind of planets. You know what I mean? Uh, who knows? It looks really, really cool. I really enjoy this quite a bit. But yeah, that is basically it. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over top of everything. Go to the Material tab. Here's a little drop down. Go to Material. And then change this surface from principal BSDF to emission. And then with everything still selected, I'm going to hit Alt L. Sorry, uh, Alt Control L. Sorry. And then hit Link Materials. There we go. So now everything is now white with the emission color. I'm going to turn the strength up to like three or so. Go to the main tab. Check Bloom on. And then go to the world tab. Change the color to solid black. Now, as you can see, we have uh, these nice little uh, planets and whatever, whatnot. I'm going to select the camera, actually, and hit G 
to move the camera down a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go to the camera tab first and then change the perspective from perspective to orthographic. And then I can hit G to move it over so it doesn't get like distorted and weird. There we go. So hit G to move the camera. There we go. So now it's all kind of in the center. I really, really enjoy this. Hope you ladies and gentlemen, it did as well. And of course, you can do the same exact thing for these smaller circles. You can have all of these really have the same thing. So let me actually just real quick, just drag a box over top of both of these. Hit Shift D to duplicate them. S to scale it down. And then just do that. Same thing. And you can have one for each one of each one of these. So I think that's gonna be it for today's tutorial because we now have this really cool like kind of loading animation logo kind of thing, which really does give me like some kind of futuristic planet type space vibes. I don't really know why, because it looks like planets most likely. But yes, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. it looks really futuristic y, very, very simple, minimalistic kind of thing going on here. I think that might be a little too bright. I, I don't think I like the emission as well. I think I just want it to be like no bloom on that at all. I don't want any bloom. Um, also, I'm going to make this solid white by going to color management and changing filmic to standard so it's actually white and black. There we go. That looks much, much cooler in my opinion. I really enjoy that quite a bit. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.